Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to explain to you how to set site storage limits on SharePoint sites. Now, I'm actually going to explain this feature to you, but in all honesty, I probably you know don't recommend that you implement this because, in my opinion, it's just uh, not necessary anymore. But uh, first, let me explain to you uh, what I'm talking about. So uh, let's actually navigate to the SharePoint Admin Center. So uh, this is the global Microsoft 365 Admin Center. I'm going to SharePoint Admin Center. So I have all these sites. And the way it works in terms of storage, uh, there is really no limit uh, on each site as to you know how, far, uh, how much you can store. Uh, well, there is a limit, but you will, will probably never exceed it. But in any case, you can store, you know, um, you know, gigabytes and gigabytes of data on each and every site, uh, and as long as the total doesn't exceed this, all right. Uh, essentially, this is, you know, the total that you have allocated for your tenant. Uh, however, let's just say I'm the admin and I want to restrict. Essentially, I want to restrict. Uh, you know, sites and maybe prevent them from uploading, you know, uh, or, you know, or storing more than a certain, um, you know, a number of gigabytes uh, on each site. So what you need to do, you actually need to tweak a setting uh, in uh, within the SharePoint Admin Center. Uh, to do that, um, click on Settings. And what you want to uh, essentially, uh, you know, configure is this option over here, Site Storage Limits. In SharePoint. So essentially, uh, by default, that's exactly what I just said, right? Let size use as much as your organization storage, you know, essentially allows. Uh, but we can, you know, switch it to manual, all right? So, and let me show you what will happen when you switch it to manual. So this way you will be able to uh, set storage for each and every site. Uh, so uh, essentially, now let's just say I want to restrict. Um, I want to restrict, um, you know, um, you know, number of gigabytes for the site, and that's an existing site, by the way. Uh, so you click the checkbox. You will now get this uh, extra option. All right. Once we enabled, um, you know, switch this to manual, right, in the settings, you get this extra option, and essentially this is where you specify. All right. It could be any number between one and this number. All right. So I maybe. You know, we'll we'll do 1,000 gigabytes, essentially one terabyte. All right, so um, so yeah, I mean that's essentially um, all there is to it. And by the way, uh, here's another feature that's kind of cool. Uh, so uh, you can actually set percentage, and essentially what will happen, right, as you approach uh, that limit, uh, the site, uh, you know, uh, uh, the, the the owners, uh, you know, will be notified. Um, you know, when uh, they're closed, right? Maybe you want to set it to 80%, right? So you, you have to, some time to react, I guess, and add additional storage. Um, but essentially, that's all there is to it. And uh, so this is how it works for existing sites. And then for the new sites, uh, if you, let's say, create a new, um, you know, a new site, let's just go ahead and create a communication site. All right. So now you have an extra box here as well, all right? Another choice uh, where, um, in addition to time zone and some other information, right? You can actually set the storage limit uh, right here, um, you know, right here at the, you know, as as you create a site. Um, so, uh, in all honesty, uh, I'm actually going to switch back, all right? Uh, and the reason for this is because, in all honesty, uh, it just doesn't make sense anymore uh, to, um, you know, to allocate, um, you know, and put limits on each and every site. Uh, all right. It just. I think in the past, uh, in the past when uh, you know storage was expensive, uh, right? Um, it it was definitely made, probably a wise decision. Uh, but you know, these days, even if you have you know just a few licenses, you get plenty, plenty. Uh, in my tenant, I have like uh, three or four uh, licensed users, and um, I have two terabytes of uh, data, and I'm you know well beyond that. Um, so in my opinion, this is not. Um, something that uh, you know is necessary to implement but there might be you know certain use cases right there might be certain situations when uh, you might want to do that uh, but keep in mind that you will need to tweak uh, the setting the storage limit for each and every site all right so it could be a bit of a headache i guess um, but that's all i wanted to show you today hopefully you learned something new as always happy to see you on my blog sharepointmaven.com and hope to see you again on my youtube channel as well thank you very much Bye bye